destinations at a record pace and giving the Research Triangle region more travel options than ever before. Gate management challenges is a great problem to have. Um, you know, this is a reflection of the strength of the economy in our greater Research Triangle region. We're attracting these airlines. The flip side of that is RDU is itself a major economic engine helping to drive that continued and rapid economic growth. And adding these flights uh, just adds to that, and we are all very pleased. Today we're not just announcing a new destination. We're announcing a new international gateway. And the announcement is, just kidding, uh, Viaca Seguros, that's all I'm going to say. And so here's Michael Lane, again, President and CEO of the Raleigh Durham Airport Authority. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, RDU has secured a coveted airline and an exciting new international destination, and details of which I will disclose shortly. So just a couple more minutes here. But before we dive into the big reveal, Let's set the stage for exploring the remarkable growth that has taken place right here at RDU. In 2023, the authority had a record-setting year with 14.5 million passengers that, threw through, that flew through the uh, facility. That surpasses our previous record of 14.2 that was set in 2019. Last year, we added four new airlines, 25 nonstop markets, and 49 flights into our air service portfolio. And of course, 2024 has started off just as strong. So far this year, we have added one new airline, which you'll hear in just a minute, five new nonstop markets, and added 12 additional flights since January 1 of 2024. Pretty remarkable in terms of what we've seen. As a result of our growth, RDU has embarked on a multi-billion dollar capital improvement program as part of our Vision 2040 airport master planning process. You will see changes in every corner of the airport in years to come, from adding parking to expanding our terminals and building our most significant capital project, which is the replacement of 5 left 2 3 right, our primary runway. The new longer runway will provide even greater economic opportunities for the Triangle as long-haul aircraft carry more passengers and cargo to locations across the world, including the destination we are announcing today. Today represents a significant milestone in air service for the Authority. We believe this new route from RDU will connect Triangle travelers with destinations that are on high demand for our business, higher learning, and regional communities. Leisure and international travel have fueled the growth at RDU, but demand from the business community is also returning. And as the Triangle becomes increasingly more diverse, our global communities want easy access to parts of the world that are not directly served by RDU today. So with me today is Mr. Dennis Carey, He's the Senior Vice President and Chief Commercial Officer, and he's going to come up here and help me reveal who that new carrier is and who we're going to fly to. So, Dennis, if you want to come up here and we'll try to do this again. So I can't tell ex how excited we are to have Copa Airlines, who is the flag carrier of Panama, and they will be getting direct service between RDU and Panama City starting in June of 2024. And I think the team has developed a really nice little video, so if we look at the monitors, we're going to show you a little bit about uh, what is actually going to be flying here to RDU.
Let's give a round of applause to Copa Airlines. So I know some of you might be asking, Mike, why are you so excited about this new service coming into the market? RDU's region is one of the top unserved U.S. markets to Central and South America, with an estimated 270 passengers daily each way between RDU and Central America and South America. It is a great fit between COPA and RDU. RDU also provides COPA access to the Carolinas, the fastest growing region on the eastern seaboard. As you saw, COPA will take travelers to Panama City and beyond, to more than 80 destinations in 32 countries in Central and South America and the Caribbean. But before I turn it over to Dennis, I want to thank you. I want to say thank you to the Board of Directors, but also the community as well. There were numerous organizations, businesses, universities, elected officials, the Latin American community, and citizens that were instrumental in assisting the authority throughout this entire recruiting effort. Without your support, the authority would not be standing here today. So to all of you that made this possible, thank you very much for your assistance. It was truly remarkable having the community come together to demonstrate to COPA, we really want them to be here and we want them to be very successful as well. And now it is my pleasure again to have Mr. Dennis Carey to come forward, Chief Commercial Officer for COPA Airlines to tell you a little bit about his airline. Dennis. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, it really is a great pleasure to be uh, here with you today on behalf of the 7,000 members of the Copa Airlines family. As we celebrate the launch of our new nonstop flight from our home airport in Panama City, Panama, to the Raleigh-Durham International Airport, our 16th destination in the U.S., we extend our heartfelt gratitude to the leadership of the Raleigh-Durham Airport Authority, including President and CEO Mike Langdeth, uh, Board Chair Ellis Hankins, and to all the local authorities, travel partners, and friends who've made this event possible. Today we take an important step in enhancing our footprint in the U.S. by connecting the Research Triangle area, a region renowned for its academic excellence, uh, rich cultural scene, and high-tech innovation, to Copa Airlines' hub of the Americas in Panama City. This new service will bring the Raleigh-Durham area closer to Latin America, offering travelers a single point of connection without the need for customs clearance or baggage recheck in our hub in Panama. Onward to more than 50 destinations in Central South America and the Southern Caribbean. With the introduction of this new route, we reaffirm our commitment to enhancing connectivity throughout the Americas. Our aim is to make travel more convenient for passengers across our 85 destinations, enabling them to seamlessly connect with loved ones, business associates, and embark on exciting adventures through our hub of the Americas in Panama. The Research Triangle now joins 15 other cities already served by COPA in the U.S., including Atlanta, Austin, Baltimore, Boston, Chicago, Denver, Fort Lauderdale, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Miami, New York, Orlando, Tampa, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C. So you see now RDU is among major cities throughout the U.S. enjoying that connectivity through all of Latin America. Residents of the Raleigh-Durham area and the surrounding region can now experience COPA's world-class award-winning service and enjoy the reliability of the most on-time airline in Latin America, an honor we recently received from Sirium for the ninth consecutive year, nine years in the past decade. And I might mention the most on-time airline in all of the Americas. Also, I want to briefly mention the incredible destination that's awaiting you in Panama, our home. Panama not only is the bridge between the continents of North and South America, but also offers a rich tapestry of experiences to its visitors, from the modern skyline of Panama City to the historic marvel of the Panama Canal and the streets of its old city. Panama boasts natural beauty, cultural diversity, and warm hospitality. Whether you seek adventure or relaxation, you will find it, you'll find it all in Panama's lush rainforests pristine beaches, and vibrant capital city. Panama City truly is, has something to offer every traveler. 
With this new non nonstop flight from Raleigh-Durham to Panama City, we invite you to discover the wonders of Panama and experience its unique charm. Our Panama City uh, Raleigh-Durham route will begin operating on Friday, June 21st, four times a week at first, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Departing Panama at approximately 9 a.m. and arriving here at RDU at 2.30 in the afternoon. And the return flight to Panama will operate on the same days, departing at about 4.20 in the afternoon, arriving in Panama at 7.45. At Copa Airlines, we remain steadfast in our commitment to providing exceptional service, seamless connectivity, and unforgettable experiences. We're thrilled to bring Raleigh Durham, the Raleigh Durham region closer to Latin America with this new service. Thank you. And starting on June 21st, we look forward to welcoming you on board. And now to commemorate the launch of COPA's new service between Panama and Raleigh Durham, I'd like to call up uh, Mr. Ellis Hankins and Mr. Mike Langeth. And as a small token of our appreciation for all your support, I'd like to present you with a model aircraft from COPA. Try not to break them before you get them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank One you, Alex. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Dennis. Uh, this is going to conclude our press conference, but I do want to say one more time, thank you to our board of directors for giving our team the tools we needed. That air service incentive program was important to us so we could help convince COPA to make a significant investment. I also want to say thank you to the business community, to the universities, the chambers, all of these folks that came together to make this possible and sell COPA and their entire team that our community is behind this. We want to make it successful. And finally, last but not least, COPA. Thank you so much for making an investment in RDU and our community. We look forward to a very long-lasting relationship. So thank you very much. That concludes our presentation for the media. We'll be available up here for uh, any interviews. Uh, Dennis will be available. Myself will be available uh, right up front here. Okay? Thank you, everybody. You have a good day. <laughs>